I am Groot, Season 2, Reaction Slash Thoughts. Yep, we're back to I am Groot. This time, it will be for real, you know, reaction video. I have not watched any of these episodes yet, but I figure it will probably be like last time. I'm not going to have much to say if I don't just do a straight reaction, so here we are. Before I get into it, the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the SAG After Strikers. Please do so. It is an extremely important cause, and there are some links to videos that help explain why it's such an important cause. And, yeah, with that said, let's dive in to the very first one, Are You My Groot? So yeah, we open on the logo, and he skips through it. <laughs> With the remote and everything, gets up in front of the camera, <laughs> falls over. Adorable. So he's in some kind of forest on some planet. Oh, now I get the title. Are you my Groot? Because he's there's an egg there. Yeah. And it's opening, and that is a surprisingly cute bird. I thought they were going to have something, like, really, really... <laughs> yeah, bites at his finger, of course. Very happy that Groot is feeding. Here's hoping they're not going to have him, like, vomit into its mouth, like... How you do feed per Oh, well, he's spinning, so we're getting there. Because we do know that Baby Groot vomits. I don't think I would put it above the... I have no idea why the subtitles are in Chinese. Hold on. <laughs> Groot teaches it to burp. Gives it a nice little bath. Oh, wow. And it's... Yeah. Told you we weren't far off from gross-out comedy. It's pooping everywhere. He's stepping in it. <laughs> and it is being very loud, which is not great for Groot. And it has no idea how to drink water from a big... Oh, wow. And it pooped on his head. Yeah. <laughs> they... <laughs> They're supposed to sleep, but it has way too much energy. Very rare for Groot to be the less energetic... Child, oh wow, he put it in the bag and zipped over it. That's not safety. <laughs> and there's like a dozen of them now. <laughs> and it's a chase scene, love it. <laughs> Stampede, nice. And we meet. The baby mama. Aw, oh, they look so comfortable inside the fur. And it looks just as ridiculous and silly. And Groot is gonna miss the little fella, of course. And one final sharing of food. And one final step in poop. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah. I I quite like that one. They're they're keeping to a very high standard, like with season one. So let's get into the second one. Group noses around right now. And I'm guessing the joke. Yeah, it seems like it's the exact same joke for the logos 
I do really appreciate that he's like out of focus when he's facing the camera. That's the kind of thing. Okay, so playing a some kind of fighting game low battery the the horror of every gamer that <laughs> and he's been sitting in the chair for so long that he's attached to it yeah I've been there especially when gaming so yeah he's gonna he's gotta find batteries that guy's eyeball is in there and the and Groot has a nose for the first time ever and can actually smell things and yeah it is of course very he can't yeah he can't get enough of it he's that's <laughs> yeah I mean I guess there's a certain logic to wood can't smell things even if it were alive and he's sniffing the the that's wrong oh wow yeah he's not gonna smell the toilet I'm glad he is Groot and I am glad yeah the candle smells better than it tastes I'm pretty sure that's a thing and he smells himself tries to deal with the smell yeah I can relate to liking the smell of a comic book I cannot relate to sneezing into a comic book. That is not something I would ever subject a comic book to. <laughs> and he's swishing around the wine to smell it. Oh no. Yeah, he got his batteries from the thing. Wow. Yeah. Now he can smell all the nasty stuff in the room. <coughs> but yeah, yeah, so he's going to clean it, of course. And. Oh, or he's going to get the nose off. Wow. Yeah, that. I can relate. I, I was unsuccessful in removing the nose, but that is definitely the better solution. Oh, and it's like, okay, so there's a scroll, and, uh, ah, crap, I, I, what was the other character in the game? I can, yeah, I'll rewind briefly, and let's see. Ah, uh, crap, I'm not really recognizing, but we got Valkyrie off in the distance, uh, yeah, and we've definitely got uh, um, Howard the Duck there. Yeah, and there's... See, I can't... I'm not certain what I'm looking at because it's slightly blurry and, you know, 8-bit eight, eight or 16-bit or something, but I think that might be one of those droid prostitutes from the second movie. I really appreciate that Howard the Duck keeps appearing in, in various stuff. Like, if you look at the exact right time, he is in the the endgame final battle. So, yeah. He didn't have to be, so I'm glad he is. If it was just like, ah, well, of course, but yeah. It was unexpected. The next one is Groot's Snow Day, and I am going to hit play now. So same opening gag, right? So the thing with you know him being out of out of focus, yeah. If you're very close to a camera and the focus puller hasn't adjusted yet, yeah, you'll be out of focus. And there is actually a slight focus adjust. It's trying to focus on him, can't, can't quite get it right. Okay, so he's got like coffee or tea, marshmallows. Yeah, being being an alien doesn't make you not want marshmallows. In, in a, okay, so it's probably hot chocolate then, actually. And whipped cream. And... Yeah, so he's gonna... Right, so yeah, they landed on some kind of snow 
planet or possibly just a snowy part of a planet. Wow. Yeah, he's having the time of his life enjoying snow and ice. Very cute. And he makes a ginormous group angel in the snow. And did not th think through the, the shaking the ice tree. <laughs> and he makes a, yeah, giant snowman, of course. Takes a bunch of parts from the plane to make arms and a harmonica for the mouth and a rocket head and he's made a horrifying abomination, a sin against God. We will all pay, but it's adorable. <laughs> nice. And it goes haywire. Firing lasers at him. James Gunn, please never change. This is amazing. Like, this is next level. Like, South Park made a joke about a killer snowman, you know, way back when. One of the first shorts that, holy crap, it built itself giant. And that also wasn't, like, aimed at children. This is, like, basic. <laughs> and the thing Groot is terrified of is losing the, losing the hot chocolate to this beast. And snowball fight. The only way this could possibly... Oh, yeah, and he's going to throw a snowball to trigger the the thing he was throwing snowballs at before triggers the rocket and up it goes nice fireworks and everything <laughs> I see why they had to put an anti snowball throwing message on the thing and I'm guessing they put that there after Groot became a member. And the eye is still alive. Nice. So yeah, Terminator Snowman by way of Groot. That is very, very fun. I, I yes, my, my hat would come off to them if I wore one. The next episode is Groot Sweet Treat. And going to hit play now. Same opening gag. Probably a lot of kids skip through the, the logos at the starts of things if you're careless enough to let them near the remote. And he's playing with toys. Making them kiss. And the, yeah, ice cream truck music is the same every in every universe <laughs> and yeah there are a lot of different ice creams and he shape, makes a heart shape in the in blow you know yeah blowing his breath on the window and no money but he does manage to show that his pockets are empty. That is a lot of eyes for one pig. And yeah, he has to get the, the coin back before the, the car goes. We've heard a lot of different I am Groot's vibrating that's a new one very fun and he's covered in the the lint from the the vacuum cleaner and he still has time to get to the <laughs> yeah that's an ancient 
chip. That is not money. Claw machine. That's yeah. There's a lot of fun. yeah, and he refuses to use the claw machine. He just throws himself through the glass. Considering how many pirates there are in the universe, oh, and it's just chocolate. There's definitely claw machines in the Guardians universe. And he does manage to get coins, but he doesn't, but not in time. The, the thing's gone. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been there. That's the thing. I, I, I have been known to use an ice cream truck or two, and I was always careful to be ready. But then I didn't have a spaceship. You know, if you got a spaceship, you can afford to be late. And, yeah, he caught up to it and is enjoying a delicious-looking ice cream. Oh, and the... Did he... It looks like he blew up the entire thing. Oh my god. Because he wanted ice cream, you know. What are you supposed to do? Not blow up the ice cream truck? And that song is going to see a lot of play. After appearing with Groot. Okay, that brings us to the final of season two shorts. This one is Groot and the Great Prophecy. And I am going to hit play now. <clears throat> yep, same opening gag. Don't really have anything to add to that. Watcher. Prophecy. Did not see this coming. This is very cool. And the... Hopefully, eventually, we will get him in live action also. Instead of only animation, but it is... Really cool to see. And Groot is the one who will fulfill. <laughs> yeah, and he accidentally steps on. <laughs> and he's. Yeah, he's doing it on purpose. And. <laughs> the Watcher is. Kind of enjoying it. He's, at, at first he was, like, concerned, but now he's like, which is how we all feel about Groot. Starts with concern, then we start having fun with it. And Groot is getting distracted by the bouncy ball. And he's struggling to not... It's, then, and Groot draws on the ancient mural and he's peeing on an ancient artifact this is worse yeah the lava's getting pretty close and he's doing he's doing shadow puppets on the wall yeah <laughs> and he's napping I love Jeffrey Wright. And yeah, Groot is getting there, going for the seed. But it was just the bouncy ball that he cared about. <laughs> Quarter unit? And yeah, it's the the seed is melting. <laughs> Sorry, kid, you're on your own. I am the watcher, but I can't watch this. Oh, that's funny. Uh, 
he is despairing the prophecy oh yeah the seed and it's gonna the seed is Groot yeah seed is a metaphor it's Groot but... yeah he skimmed the prophecy So, yeah, but, like, apparently Groot can perceive the Watcher. That's, yeah. So, yeah, those were a lot of fun. I don't know if we are getting more than these two seasons. I'd like to. I feel like there's still plenty of, of fun to be had in, in this format. Um, let's see. Do I have any more I, f I feel like they're doing a really good job capturing like the the kind of energy and joy of being a child and, you know not all the time but like if you're just getting to play you know that's a pretty consistent throughout all of these Groot is playing he is having fun he is making his own fun you know like most of the like there's a little bit of time where it's like okay you know he's playing a video game or something but most of the time, it's just, it's new experiences, it's just finding something that makes him happy, and and doing that, you know, and, you know, in a, in a, like, in a world, there's a lot of very dour MCU characters, MCU characters where you really have to work to cheer them up, and Groot, baby Groot at least, is just... A lot of the time happy and yeah it's it's great to see I appreciate how colorful these are the this mix of this very childish and and childlike wonder and, and joy and then these pretty dark things happening some of the time I thought that really worked um, I think that might be everything that I have to say about these but but yeah a um, lot of fun with with each of these and just yeah um, you know obviously you know it's not like mind-blowing it's not the kind of MCU you know production that's gonna like change everything but, you know, though I didn't love it, we did just have Secret Invasion. That was very much for us, you know, adults. This one is for the, the little kids. I still don't, like... I gotta say, I would not show a, a little child one of the Guardians films, but I guess this is probably... Honestly, this is probably, like, baby's first MCU kind of thing. You know, small children can be shown these, uh, you know, even though they get kind of intense at times, and, you know, when they get a little older, maybe they can sit through an entire MCU movie, including Guardians, for the time being, maybe only show them the scenes of, of Baby Groot, and even then, not quite all of them, I don't think, but, you know, please tell me you guys have a jar of toes in, in the, you know, no, then let us never speak of this again, you know. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, really, really enjoyed this. I I think they should keep making these as long as they feel they have ideas for them. I really appreciate that they're not trying to do... Like, for... I, I do love about the MCU, all this interconnected, this, this continuity and such. You know, I just started watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., enjoying that aspect of it quite a lot. I, I do really like that this is just, like, you know, characters will cameo, sure, but this doesn't affect the continuity at all, which does also help make it, you know, I, I get being frustrated if something that's made very much for kids is going to affect the continuity, so you feel like you have to sit down and watch it, even though you're not a child. You know, that's probably at least part of the reason, but yeah, you know, like, you could sit down and just watch I Am Group Seasons 1 and 2 
and you'd be fine. You know, there's enough context clues to figure out what's going on around him and not really any need of the the yeah, you you don't really need much grounding. I do think it's a little interesting that they're sticking with I'm I'm glad they are, but they are sticking with baby group for now for for these. I can't help but wonder if there's maybe also some good stories in I mean maybe I guess by the time we meet adult Groot he is pretty used to the world around him so that wouldn't I, f I just feel like you know t teenage Groot and swole Groot there's probably some fun to to have with them that you couldn't with with baby Groot but yeah that's it for for this one so yeah thoroughly enjoyed um yeah, here's hoping that they'll make more and accepting if they do not. So, yeah, until I guess later today when I do an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode, make my Marvel.